Colton Korn may not look like a go-to receiver, but for Charleston Southern, he fits the bill. Korn quickly established himself as the Bucks' third down specialist as a freshman and has picked up where he left off this season. Five catches for 75 yards and a win over the Citadel. Five more for 64 against Charlotte. Two for 40 in the Bucks' near upset of Vanderbilt. The six foot, 175 pound Korn does not fit the profile of an elite receiver, but he has a knack for getting open. Just ask his position coach and brother, Willie Korn. Me and my dad, we kind of laugh about it because when you, if you, if you saw him at a combine, if you saw him running, he wouldn't crank out an unbelievable 40 yard dash. He wouldn't just um, wow you with his strength, but something happens when he gets on the field and he gets the ball in his hands. Uh, he's just slippery. He makes guys miss. Uh, he makes guys miss. Uh, he's got a tremendous uh, football instincts. Those instincts made Korn an immediate contributor in 2013. Originally a redshirt candidate, he finished second on the team with 26 catches and delivered clutch grabs throughout the year. Korn's football acumen has been paramount to his production. I'm a, uh, I'm a smart football player, not necessarily an athletic football player. So I am, I'm able to find uh, zones. I want to be a college football coach, so you kind of got to study defenses and know them a lot better. And I think uh, playing quarterback in high school really helped that because I, uh, I always, I always uh, went to high school where the coaches were really good coaches. One of them went to Auburn, now the coach up there. And he always taught us little things I didn't think I was going to have to use and ended up it's helping me a ton right now. Another help to Korn is his older brother, CSU wide receivers coach Willie Korn. A former top 100 high school recruit, Willie started his college football journey at Clemson before a brief stint at Marshall. Then it was on to North Greenville under then head coach Jamie Chabwell, the only coach to return Willie's overtures to several Division II programs. Chabwell's chance paid off, with Willie piloting North Greenville to the D2 quarterfinals in 2011. Two years later, it was the younger corn in search of a place to play. I always thought I was going to get offered by a big school and always, I mean, I kind of lacked, I just went through my senior year thinking I was going to get a big D1 offer, FBF, SCS, something, and it just never came through. And I had, you know, North Greenville where Coach Chadwell was, he offered me, but then he left there, so I just, no consideration for it. And then, um, so I went to uh, prep school and thought, thought for sure I'd get something big out of there and nothing was coming, and then two weeks before signing day, Coach Chadwell gave me a call and said, hey, I'm, I've got the job down at Charleston Southern, how would you come down and take a visit? And came down, and Coach Chadwell's done so much for our family, and, and he ended up offering me a scholarship. And four years junior to Willie, Colton is now in year two of four with his brother as position coach. The timeline of the Corn brothers' arrival to CSU is intriguing in and of itself. Coach Chadwell remembered him when he was recruiting at North Greenville, gave him opportunity. And he actually um, signed to play here before I actually got hired the job. And when I first got um, Coach Chow contacted me about uh, coaching here, I, I immediately he was the first one I called, and you know just said, hey, you know if, if you don't feel comfortable with this, if, if you if you don't want me here, that's completely fine. I'll, I'll look for a different gig. But um, he was open to it, and uh, it's been a tremendous experience uh, so far. You know, for my dad, you know he doesn't have to go to two different places on the weekends. He gets to come and. You know, two birds, one stone gets to see both of us in one weekend. So, and he gets to come to Charleston. So he, he cashed out in the equation as well. Number 11 has been a big factor in the equation that has made the Bucks one of the best ball control offenses in the country. Colton is happy to be at Charleston Southern and playing under Willie isn't bad either.